Hey everybody, it's Dennis Pitzenbarger. We're here at SEMA Central, right here, SEMA 2015. To my left, a very good friend, Bruce Meyer, the one guy, if you can believe this, the guy who said, Dennis, you can come drive the number one Cobra. I'll let you not look at it, not touch it, not sit in it, but drive it. And how I have not got to your house to do that, I have no idea, I must be crazy. It is so good to see you, my friend. Dennis, great to be here and, um, you know, I can't believe this show. I mean, every year we come, it's just, they keep expanding it now, it's a tent and it just gets bigger and bigger. A lot like the Peterson. A lot like the Peterson. <laughs> we have got to talk about the Peterson Automotive Museum. I mean, obviously, I have a little bit of history with Mr. Robert E. Peterson, a gentleman that uh, I, I wore the Hot Rod badge for a while, and it was with massive honor. And I still see that magazine as being iconic and what he has done with the industry. But the Peterson Automotive Museum went through a huge facelift. I have yet to see anything but pictures from the outside. And I almost like it that I have not because I can get it straight from the horse's mouth on what's going on there, how new it is, how exciting it is to have that incredible outside, let alone what I know is waiting for me on the inside. Well, the good news is there is not a picture, a computer animation, or a model that does this justice. I guarantee you, Dennis, you're going to be blown away. I don't, I don't care what level of expectation you have, we're going to exceed it. And that's the joy we've been having so far as people drive by and see the, the new Peterson, because it's yeah. all new. And in the old days, you could drive by that building for 23 years of our existence and never have a clue what's going on inside. Now, you will never drive by that building unnoticed again. Wow. It blows me away to see yeah. the pictures. Talk through some of the great new stuff that you've got going on at the museum. Sure. Well, you have to go back since the Genesis. It used to be a department store, a Japanese department store called Cebu, and that was built in the 50s. I did not know this. Okay, and then it became Orbox, which is a discount department store, and then in like the late, you know, 80s, it became dormant. And you know Bob Peterson, you know, who has had his hands in everything, lots yes. of startups, including SEMA. He thought this would be a great place for an automotive museum. So he came to the Natural History Museum. I was on the board of the Natural History Museum. He said, let's build a car museum. Bruce, I want you to be chairman. And off we went. Good choice. So we started with a really a three-story building that you could put cars in on two floors. Now you can put cars in four floors. We've increased the vault. We can now put cars in the first and second floors, which in the last time you were there, we were able to do. But now we've added the largest elevator, we think, in California. <laughs> so now we can put cars all the way up to the third floor. So we have, wow. you know, really 25% more car space. The interior is totally technical savvy now. Pixar, Xbox, they've all joined in in a partnership. That's great to hear. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's brilliant and it's state of the art. So people, not only can they not go by and pass us up, when they come inside, they're gonna see something that is totally new and different, totally different than before. Before we had a few dioramas and you can't change a diorama. Now we have LED lighting, we can change the lighting in a minute's notice. We can change our gallery space. So it's a very dynamic place, and I cannot wait to give you the tour. I, I want to get down there. You know, I've been to the Peterson Automotive Museum so many times, and you know, the funny thing is, I, I never got, you know, bored. I never, I, yeah. I could go back to the same place and see it all over again and all over again. Now that it'll be new, it'll be that exciting. But I got to ask about the vault. Now, the vault used to be the vault. Only so many people got in the vault, but it sounds like you've got to open that up a little bit. Well, we found that it was a great source of income, you know, because we had to make money. So what we started doing is charging people for tours of the vault. Now we have professional tour guides. They take them in to see Peterson's very private collection, cars that are not on display. And the vault, some people think, is as interesting or maybe more interesting than the displays. That's the way it used to be. But we think we're going to bring the official displays up to a whole new level. And one of our opening displays is called Precious Metal and they're all silver cars, the most important silver cars ever produced in the world. The Mercedes-Benz Streamliner from the 30s, the James Bond, you know, Aston Martin. Wow. The Pebble Beach winning Testarossa, you know, um, um, John Shirley Ferrari. 
we've got it all, and they're all, they're all silver colored cars, so it's it's pretty special. That'll be interesting. And yeah. I got to tell you, my favorite story from the vault is when I got to sit in Elvis Presley's Pantera that he pulled out, I guess, a 38 stub nose, and it wouldn't start, and he started shooting the steering wheel. It's one of those cool stories that so many that have visited visited the museum have from each and every one of us. So yeah. if people want to know more about where to see it, how to see it, how to get over there, I know I just got to make the time. In fact, what I got to do, I got to go to your house. We'll get in that Cobra, and then we'll go to the museum. Listen, I'm tired of just making that offer and you're not showing. Dennis, you got to show up. I do, I do. Tell it people where they're going to find out all the information. Sure. If you go on, 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 on the web, it's peterson.org www.peterson.org. We have a brand new website, lots and lots of new displays, and a whole new museum, $125 million redo. It's amazing. All from right here, SEMA Central. We'll see you soon.